Hello YouTube, and hello Agent of Doubt, and uh, Bible Thump Thumping Wingnut also. Um, so I just wanted to address this strange uh, logic that um, that I'm seeing, that, that's revealing itself um, from the uh, from this corner, from this little debate that, that's happening. Right? And Agent of Doubt, you're kind of guilty of this too, but but uh, it it the Otis is much less on you. Um, uh, there's there's this strange or, or perverse fallacy of uh, a historical Christianity that that's that's being revealed here, and I've talked about this in other places, um, but uh, you know this this notion that the church can be against scripture, right, or, or, um, can be in some, somehow in violation of scripture, uh, well, what you're assuming is that scripture, um, is supposed to dictate what the church does, um, this is the opposite of the, uh, the, you know, the history of Christianity, um, it's it's actually you know before and mind you we're talking before the great schism there was something like a universal church and there were heresies don't get me wrong it was it was much more fractured than it, than some people might make make it want to appear but um, the you know it's not that the, that scripture is supposed to determine what the church does you know but rather the church compiled scripture. And they compiled it in a very specific time period for very specific reasons. Um, very particular people were involved in that process, and um, you can read and find their thought process behind how uh, how they how they selected the books that they that they selected, why they excluded the books that they excluded. Uh, there's also reference to other to other books that we don't have. In those discussions, in those debates, um, but but that that process of, of canonizing the Bible, um, you know, Christianity existed for for hundreds of years without Scripture, you know, without anything like Scripture, um, and it's it's basically you know the fact that the Bible took the form that it did is is. <clears throat> It borders on being a historical accident, um, uh, or rather, it was it was just people <laughs> talking through what you know. What what tool do we want um, to to show the world? You know what 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 do what collection of books do we want to represent us? Right, and that was how that was the kind of thinking that scripture was compiled on the basis of. Um, it wasn't, it, it was purely sort of instrumental, it wasn't some notion of, of, you know, the divine is telling us to, to do anything, right? Um, it wasn't, it wasn't really a mystical procedure. Um, and, uh, and, and you can find all that, you know, you can find the writings from the people who compiled the Bible. Um, it's, it's not hard to do. Um, uh, it's, so, yeah, this notion that, that somehow, like, and obviously, like, like, there was the Great Schism, so you, you have two branches of the church, two main branches, right? You have Roman Catholicism and you have, uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church, but the notion that the church can be against scripture is, is absurd, um, from that historical perspective, um, because, you know, the church is that which legitimizes scripture. The church is that which chooses, um, what books to use as a teaching tool, right? Um, so, and St. Paul says, you know, we have, we have a treasure in an earthen vessel. So we, in the church, we have this um, 
container that's poor and shoddy and flawed, but deep down within it we have we have uh, this beautiful thing that needs to be preserved and, and fleshed out over time. And that's that's the job of the church, right? Like, or that's how the church conceives of its job. Right? I, I am an atheist, so uh, so I don't buy into any of it. But but this is the the internal logic of, of early Christianity. Um, the so the notion that like like the Bible is is just a way to do that, right? It, it's not. It's or it's it's a tool to help to do that. Um, it's a tool to help the church um, explain its positions or, or work through its, its positions. Right. This is how you get things like exegesis and 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 stuff like that in in Roman Catholicism. And this is why, like, like it it doesn't really matter, like. It doesn't. The status of the Bible is what's in question here, um, and to say that you know, oh, Scripture is perfect, and the Church has strayed from Scripture, and therefore the Church is, you know, wrong or, or heretical or antichrist or something like that. That's that's literally a contradiction in terms. Um, so you can quote the Bible as much as you want against the church, but the authority that legitimizes the quotations you're using derives from the church in the first place. So your logic fails. Oh, I'm supposed to do this in this video, right?